Hello friends, Shay here. This is Monday. The day is the 19th of January. Um, it's night time. As you can tell, it's dark out the window. Right there. <laughs> dark outside, of course, that is the carport and he's got it closed up with a tarp. But still, you can usually normally see in there good during the daytime. Um, it's six something at night and uh, p.m. It's already dark outside. I have felt bad today. I don't know why, but my throat has been raw and sore, and I've been coughing a little bit. And my hair looks funny. Something's wrong with it. Anyway, and so I have felt bad, and I have a little headache. So I haven't done very much. My eyes are watery too. Sorry, I gotta dry them out. Um, and hadn't blogged until now. Um, because I've felt bad. I woke up early, about 7-something this morning. And, um, so that's when I got up and ate my breakfast and took my medicine. My eyes are itching terribly bad. And, um, but then I ended up... <coughs> sorry. I ended up laying back down about 9.30 and uh, going to sleep and taking a nap. Uh, a very long nap. Mostly all day because I felt so bad. But, um, then I got up and I'd just been slowly fiddling around in my room, you know. Um, Elizabeth just left and run to Joanne's. Albert's not home yet. He got up early this morning and left and went to Hattiesburg. He is putting a fence up for somebody over there. And so he's doing that, but he'll be in later. And I have some good news. <laughs> for my new subscribers that don't know, y'all may have heard me mention about my Mississippi babies and I have Tennessee babies. Well, my Mississippi babies is coming home with Daddy Al when he comes back home, not tonight, but tomorrow, because he's got to go back tomorrow to finish the fence job. And when he finishes it and comes home, uh, see, they live in Bay Springs, Mississippi. He's in Hattiesburg, Mississippi working. But their mama's going to bring them to him in Hattiesburg and when he gets off work and he's bringing them home with him. They're finally coming back home <laughs> to the new house. This will be the first time they've seen the new house. And I call them babies. There's a story behind that. For my new subscribers, this may, this is going to be a one-take vlog since it's late and I've not vlogged yet and I've been feeling bad. So, But it's probably going to be a long one. Um, but anyway, so my Mississippi babies, uh, I call them babies, but the baby is 8 years old, okay? The oldest one is 15 now. And the middle one is 14, 13, or no, 13, 13. It's Bailey, Cody, and Miles. I started to say Bubba. His name is Miles, but we've always called him Bubba. And I've always nicknamed them. You know, I call them baby. I called them Bailey Boo, Cody Two, and Bubba Doo. <laughs> Boo Two and Doo. <laughs> Anyway, what it is, years ago when we lived in Mississippi, I, you know, I babysit children all my life, off and on. I started babysitting when I was 13 years old and has just, you know, off and on all through my life. That's about the only kind of job I can do is babysit. So, I started babysitting this little baby girl when she was four months old. Okay. Bailey. That's the 15-year-old now. Uh, and I started calling myself Mama Shay to her and then calling Albert Daddy Al to her. So I kept her for two or three years probably. Well, then her mama moved. That's when she lived in the same town with us. So her mama moved and didn't need me anymore. 
but I told her, I said, look, I've gotten attached to this baby. And this is the first one. Like I said, I've babysit all my life, but this is the first one I've ever done this away. Uh, but I told her, I said, Tanya, I have gotten attached to this baby. Uh, it's like she's my baby, too, you know, and I love her to death. And I know you don't need me anymore, you know, as a babysitter and to pay me and all that, but I'm going to miss her. And I said, I would still love to see her. She she moved like only an hour away. So I told her, I said, if you wouldn't mind, I would love to get her sometimes, maybe on the weekends, and keep her, you know, a couple of days just to be with her and just to have her. And she agreed with me. And she has kept that up and done it all the way to now. And that child is 15 years old. I'm actually surprised that she has, you know, stayed in touch with us and kept letting us get the children. Well, she had two more. She had another little girl, Cody. I couldn't uh, leave her out. I had to include her. So we became Mama Shay and Daddy out to her too. And then she had the little boy, Bubba, Miles. So we had three babies. So that's the story behind that, and that's why I call them babies, and they're coming to stay, because they have kept, you know, all through, ever since then, we, we get them, you know, they'll, they've come on weekends, they come on weeks, they, uh, at one point in time, uh, Bailey was living with us because she went off out of town, her husband, their daddy, works on pipelines, and he has to go out from home and stay gone a while, well, she started working with him on the pipelines, so she would go with him. And they had put Bailey in our Christian school at our church at the time where my girls was going. So they let her move in and live with us for that period of time so we could get her to school and back. And uh, so she actually lived with us for a while. Um, but anyway, there are babies and they even, when we first moved to Tennessee, they came and stayed with us a couple of times and then they ended up, his job, uh, put him in Tennessee to work right there where we lived in that same town. And so they moved there, you know, temporarily, of course, but they rented a house and moved there. So the kids was over at our house all the time, you know. And um, so, uh, well, now their job, which we moved, we moved first here. And then their job ended in Tennessee and they went back home to Mississippi. So they've never gotten rid of their home in Mississippi, you know. They keep it, but his job keeps taking him out of town to other states and places for a long while. And uh, at one point in Tennessee, before their job came to Tennessee, his job was in, I think it was Texas, if I remember right, but they needed someone to stay with the kids, so Elizabeth actually went and lived with the kids at their house and got them to school and back, back and forth. And then when that job ended, he came home, and then they put him where we were so they moved there temporarily, and the kids was around us a lot and everything. So that's the story about that. So anyway, they're coming. Now, I say they are. Uh, there's three all together, but only two's coming, I'm afraid. Miss Cody, I'm mad at her. She don't want to come. She's my most crafty partner of the three. But Bailey has kind of, I don't know if she still will, but the last several times she came to the house in Tennessee, she was kind of crafty. She's the tomboy. And Bailey is. But Cody is the primpy type and likes to dress up and, and be the prissy type pretty girl. And, <laughs> and um, But she loves to craft like me. And me and her would always craft together. And Bailey never did, you know, like to craft. But like I said, she shocked me one day in Tennessee. And she come in there and she said, Mama Shay, I want to do some crafting. I want to make something. And I looked at her and I said, what? <laughs> Are you? Come here. Let me check you. You got a fever? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she surprised me and she started crafting with me then a pretty good bit there. So I don't know if she'll still be in a crafty mood or not, but her and Bubba's coming. Cody has got um, church things that she's that, uh, involved in in their church right now, learning about the tabernacle and they're actually doing crafts. You know, they're building and making the tabernacle and learning about it in their lessons at church. And she said she's having so much fun and such a ball with that. She don't want to miss any of that. So that's why she's not coming. But maybe next time she'll come, you know. Uh, uh, it had got to where anyway back in Tennessee, the girls, Bailey or Cody, they didn't want to come to our house together. See, they're older now. They're teenagers. And they clash and fight a lot, as all siblings do. So they never did want to come together. 
Bailey Boo would say that when she would come and Cody would be there, that Bailey, you know, she thought she, Bailey, would always get in trouble for something Cody done. I, it's, I don't know. It's just a sister-sibling thing, I guess. But anyway, uh, she never would like to come when Cody come. So if Cody was coming, Bailey wouldn't come. So it was actually Bailey. Cody wouldn't have minded coming with Bailey, but it was Bailey for some reason that didn't, didn't, didn't want to come with Cody. But uh, if Cody didn't come, then Bailey would come, you know, with Bubba. Bubba always came with Bailey mostly. Sometimes he would come with Cody, but he's, he's a Bailey's baby. So he hangs with Bailey and sleeps with Bailey all the time. Anyway, so they're, they're coming tomorrow night. And now Bailey, Cody is the one that don't mind vlogging with me. Bailey is one that don't really want to be on camera, but I do manage to get her at times. And so I'm going to try to get her on my vlogs with me while they're here, her and Bubba. And y'all can see my babies. That's my Mississippi babies. And then I, the three little boys, y'all have seen the picture on my fireplace mantle. That's the, my babies in Tennessee that I started keeping there and got attached to them. So I'm trying to stay with them. We Skype. I Skype with them so I can see them and talk to them. And every time we have went up there, uh, not like we go a lot. I think I've only been one time, really. I've went by there and seen them and stuff. And I'm going to, uh, when as soon as we get the house all fixed up, I'm going to invite them to come down here and stay a weekend with us. You know, we, I'm going to try to stay in with them. But uh, that's some good news I've got to look forward to. Um... <clears throat> what else was I gonna oh while I'm at it let me get on here and um I got a few more uh new subscribers that I want to welcome and thank it's three of them I've got Birdhouse Junction welcome to my uh I started to say journal did I say journal a while ago I don't know I'm crazy my vlog my channel my YouTube channel welcome and thank you for subscribing to me, and I hope you enjoy all of my videos and vlogs. All right, My Japan Lifestyle. Hey, Sherry! <laughs> I was actually subscribed to her, and I've been watching her for a while, and I love her vlogs. So, she ended up, I actually asked her something, and, um through a message and we're gonna do a swap and that's all I'm gonna say about it right now but y'all will find out about it later but uh, she subbed to me since we're gonna do this swap so welcome to my channel her name is Sherry like I'm Sherry but I go by Shay and she spells her name mine is S-H-E-R-R-Y she spells hers S-H-E-R-R-I so and she lives in Japan she's from Canada I think she said but lives in Japan, and I love her cute little apartment. It's got the little sliding Japan type doors, you know. I love it. Anyway, thank you for subscribing to me, and welcome to my channel. Hope you enjoy it. Now, this other one, I'm not sure how to say. My Nashka. It's M Y N A S H K A. My Nashka. Anyway, welcome to my channel, and thank you for subscribing to me, and I hope you will enjoy all of my vlogs. Now, I am going to show y'all those three up close. So, what did I say that was? Birdhouse Junction. Birdhouse Junction. And then, My Japan Lifestyle. Did y'all hear that? That sounded like a shot outside somewhere. A gunshot and my Nashka so I wanted to welcome all of my new subscribers um, there was something else I was gonna tell y'all about Bailey and them coming and I was gonna welcome my subscribers there was something else I was gonna do on here or tell y'all about on here now and I can't remember what it was I hate when I do that and I've already been 14 minutes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. What was it that I was going to do? I don't remember. <laughs> I hate that. Oh well. If I think about it later, I guess I'll come on and make another little short clip to add to this one. 
but uh, I'll try to put this up later tonight. It's still kind of early, and since I slept so much today, I'll probably be up late today, tonight. <clears throat> oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no wonder I forgot. It's something I don't want to remember. <laughs> uh, I got my results in for, for my lab from my doctor today from taking lab the last time I was there. I don't know all the fancy names they used and all that, but basically it boils, it boil, it boils down to this. The diabetes number, it's supposed to be 5.9, no, got it backwards. It's supposed to be 5.6. Mine is 5.9. It's not that bad. I am not having to, that don't mean I'm a diabetic and I'm not having to start taking medicine on it right now. But if I don't start trying to do something about it, it could get bad and I would have to start taking medicine. <laughs> I am a very, 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 very big, 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 sweet, 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 sweet tooth person. So, this is going to be very hard for me. All I can say is everybody pray for me that I can do this. That's all I know to say. Okay, so I will leave y'all I guess this would be it. If anything else exciting comes up, I'm fixing to do listen to a tape pal for a little bit. That's today's hobby. And then I'm going to work in my, uh, I got it laid out here, my smash book for my lists. I'm going to work in it. I started it back in Tennessee. I'm going to work on that after, I mean, later tonight after I do my tape paling a little bit. All right, guys. I'm done, I'm gone, toodaloo.